In the news, though, it is deadline day. The Senate still has to vote on the debt deal after the House passed the measure last night. Our local New York representatives were split down the middle when it came to the vote on raising the debt ceiling. In a statement, Democratic Congressman Paul Tonko says he did not support the bill because it asks for sacrifices from the middle class and threatens to weaken entitlements. Across the aisle, Republican Chris Gibson voted yes, saying it's the start to fiscal stability. And he says he expects things to get easier in the years to come. Cities